Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, what do you want you to know today? I don't even know if you want. <laughs> but I am confident you can hear me. Spirit says to honor what you've created. Trust. I created this. This beauty, this grief, this abundance, this lack. Whatever you're experiencing, Spirit says, love that. Trust that you created it and that it is bringing something into your life. If you don't want it there, ask Spirit to help you to remove it. And, you know, seeing how Reverend Crystal Cox Ramble and my different channeling stuff has kind of mixed in with my um, anti-corruption stuff. You know, let's say you're watching everything that I say because you're looking for something to put me in jail. And let's say you want me out of your life. So what you do is you'd say, Spirit, assist me to remove crystal from my life. Bring me joy. Dissolve the evil darkness in me. <laughs> Just for example, um, it, it is my belief it's funny, a fish just jumped. <laughs> How, that is so cool. <coughs> it's my belief that we all create our own reality. I, I am very passionate about giving voice to victims of corruption. But at the same time, spiritually, I don't believe that there are any victims. I believe we all create our own reality and I know that I've created mine. And so when I come across things that I'm traumatized about, um, and I'll get back to how to get rid of me in a minute, but uh, the trauma, I'm like, well, what, you know, I, I say innate, dissolve that, dissolve the root of the trauma. Uh, the spirit always comes back and says, follow your joy, follow what you're passionate about. And, and if I feel passionate about research and, and exposing corruption, that's my passion for the day. It, it, it's not necessarily to be judged as good or bad or um, uh, light or dark necessarily, but it's following your passion. And if you're pa if, if thinking about me makes you feel bad, then stop thinking about me. Think about something that's joyful. Stop watching my every move. Remove me from your life by not paying attention to me. Don't follow me online. Don't stalk my every move. Don't go to the police about me every day. Don't talk about me every single day. Then you create that in your field and it draws more and more to you about me. I'm just giving an example because I know that um, there's a whole bunch of people that have protective orders against me because they don't want me to talk about them online. So what that's done is spirits brought them these protective orders so that they have to watch my every move. And in turn, this will raise your vibration because I am of the light. I don't do anything deliberately to hurt people. I believe I'm righteous in the truth, but at the same time, I know there is no truth. There's no one truth. There's everybody's truth. So if you don't want your life to be about me, 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 about crystals, stop talking about me. Stop writing my name. Stop getting protective orders against me so that you have to watch my every move because you want to get me in jail. Because you're not going to, okay? I, I've never even had any priors. Even if you're like, oh my God, she said my name. You know, I'm not even going to go to jail, okay? And, and if for some chance I do go to jail, I trust the spirits got me there. I lived in a car for years and years, and I just laid there and meditated, and I sat on the beach and I talked to spirit. I'm not afraid of jail. I'm not afraid of death. Um, I have some different traumas that come up of my own stuff that I'm healing. And, um, I in no way mean to come across as, I'm righteous and I know everything. I just follow my passion. And, um, you know, uh, if you have a guilty conscience of something you did that I'm reporting on, um, make peace with God. Just, just say, Great Spirit, I did this thing. I, I don't want to talk to the victim. I don't want to confess to law enforcement or to my priest. I don't want to tell my partner. I don't want to tell anybody. 
But if you did this thing, just tell spirit I did this thing. Please resolve it. Dissolve me of it. Um, I'm not going to keep talking about the things that you did, okay? I, I'm not interested. I uh, wanted to give voice to victims. But you know, what's in your heart is yours. And if you did bad things to women, that's yours, okay? It's not mine. I know that I'm a good person and I know my intentions are good. But I also know that when you cross over, you're not going to be judged either way. So I just follow my passion and, um, I, and I encourage you to do the same. Every time you send hateful energy to me or you get together with your coven and you want negative things to happen to me, I send that back. But before I send it back, I fill it with love and good luck and money and laughter and good food and all good things for you. I don't wish anything negative. I simply feel a calling to tell the truth. And sometimes I get it wrong, yes. And when I get it wrong and I know I've got it wrong, I make it right. I don't know that anything that I put out there about you is wrong. I, but I also, um, it, it's not something that I'm going to continue doing. So the most heinous things that you've done, that's yours, that's between you and God. Um, I have a certain thing I do online to get uh, evidence, and it works every time. People get all worked up, and you can see them on the stat counter. You can see who comes to the site. You can see it through public records. You can see by who's worried and who's saying what, who's guilty and who's done what, right? Who's, who's kayaking the loudest, right? Who's whining about who? That's who has done this. Let's see, what's the... Oh, hey, it's still going. What a deal. <laughs> Anyways, I wasn't going to... Oh, yeah, so Spirit, right. I asked Spirit what Spirit wanted to say. So so because I'm posting on the site, some of my anti-corruption site stuff, um, it's not what I want my life to be. I, I quit it for seven years, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't sit by and watch uh, people that had so much power, prosecutors and police and prominent people and so many people, what they did to a homeless man um, and his dog, I, I couldn't stand by and not stick up for him, so I stuck up for him. And, and uh, to watch them go after this man with such vengeance, like they were piranhas and he's like a piece of meat, oh my gosh, it was shocking. And Spirit showed me what, what the bad guys did, what the prosecutors and everybody did. But, you know, uh, when you go to court and you go, oh, Spirit told me, the courts are like, yeah. We're going to get the white coat on you, girl. So I, I found all the public records. And, um, you know, uh, Michael Almain dot blogspot. No, Michael Almain case. No, Michael Almain chronology dot blogspot. And I was shocked. Prosecutors, the police, hundreds of people just set, set this homeless man up. Just for their own emotional gratification. It, it's sick. It's sick. And I couldn't stand by and watch it. And, and um... You know, then with what happened to Julie Jamal, I, I couldn't stand by and watch people, especially the pride community, knowing how long we fought against people doing that to us. Now the pride community's doing that to 80-year-olds that don't understand the new lingo. I mean, pure evil, pure evil. And I, I believe everyone should have a voice. And um, I believe we have incarnated as male and female. And... Um, someone walk, trying to walk down there. And so, um, hello. Hi. I'm just doing a little video. I'll move my feet. I don't think oh, it can okay. go much further. I'm not sure. Mm, yeah, it's not looking like it. <laughs> it's not today, yeah. <coughs> Had a little bit of an interruption there, so. All right, Spirit, so what what do you want to say, Spirit? The moment, it truly is yours, and no one else can define you. You know, I can say all day, every day, you have four heads, and if you don't have four heads, then... <coughs> it shouldn't bother you. Um, I 
just trust trust what comes into your life. Trust what you send out. It's going to come back to you in the way that is highest and best for you. Again, I, I'm motivated to tell the people that watch my every move online that um, you don't have to watch me. Why To consume your life with me and my energy and my frequency is just going to bring more of me into your life. And if that's not feel good to you or your highest and best, then, you know, stop doing it. Um, you know... Making fun of me channeling dragons. I mean, I, I channel Gold Star Trio. I channel... Um, yes, I channel the dragon. Lately, I've been channeling the green dragon. And I have this bear that's one of my guides that I see and talk to. I have an um, Indian woman that's been my guide and friend my whole life in spirit. I've been a psychic my whole life. I'm, you know... Just because you go to court and make fun of me for channeling a dragon, um, you know, that's... Um, I find it interesting that a witch's cousin would go to court and try to get a protective order against me, claiming that I was doing rituals against them, when they were doing rituals against me funny there's a there's a big uh, <coughs> coven in town in Port Townsend and I went to a meetup um, just saying you know what I feel inspired to say uh, I was so excited that this woman stopped me on the street because she seen my pentacle on my shirt and I I was excited to meet some witches and um, one of them said to me oh I said I've been here for 10 years and she's like you know I said I'm a fifth generation witch on both sides and and back even further I've seen things my entire life. I, you know, I've been close to God. I have a friendship with Jesus as one ascended master and not the one true God. I don't believe there's one true God. And everybody runs screaming. Like, you can't love Jesus in the pentacle. You know, I, I don't care. I've seen death and I've talked to spirit my entire life. And someone can tell me all day, every day, I haven't seen what I saw and well, I did or, you know, people call the Mandela effect. I've moved realities. You know, we used to be on the Sagittarius arm, now we're on the Orion arm. The sun used to be yellow, now it's white. There's thousands of timeline shifts. I shifted to a different reality, and I know that I create my reality, and I know that my thoughts and what I focus on every day creates the version of reality that I live. And so if I'm constantly focusing on people and what they're doing, yeah, I'm creating that, okay? But it's also my highest excitement. Like, I really like the research. I really like giving voice to victims. And, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, back to uh, the coven thing. They said, well, where, you know, where you been? And I said, well, um, I've been here. But then I said um, something about trouble, something... I don't know, but anyway, it came out who I was, my name. And then they said, oh. Right, they were like, oh my gosh, a little freaked out. Because their coven leader didn't like me. And But before that happened, I said, uh, I said, oh, you guys do spells and stuff? And she said, only when we need to. So, you know, in other words, they need, when they need to do negative spells against somebody, they do that. So, obviously, that coven... Um, wanting to stick up for the uh, <coughs> people at the YMCA, called the YMCA Coven, they would want to do spells against me. But I'm of the light, and I see energy, and I, I'm telling the truth, and I'm proving the truth. Um, they're the ones that engaged in darkness, and so I feel the energy coming at me, you know, or, or when they bring something to my door, and it's got, you know, black goo, and um, bodily we won't talk about you know I, I can see it so I fill it with love and I burn it and I send it back to you with love and light and abundance and money and laughter and good food and love and I don't wish any negative to any of you I just wish the truth and that you stop hurting people so they would gather and do these rituals against me and um, I would know 
<laughs> and then the energy would go back at them, and then, you know, pipes burst and things happen, whatever. <laughs> anyway, how I started this um, before I got um, interrupted, someone was coming along the trail here, I um, was talking about how to get rid of me. And so I want to tell you, if you want to get rid of anyone in your life, including me, stop watching my videos. Stop repeating my name. Stop thinking about me. You're addicted to thinking about me. You're addicted to hating me. You're addicted to following me. So, so say, okay, every time I want to think about Crystal, I'm going to think about uh, uh, kayaking or some beautiful river or some, um, something that you love. Instead of thinking about me over and over and over, just, to, you know, the more you try to shut me up, the more I'm going to pop up in your life. And that's how spirit's going to do it. And, and if not me, then a version of me, someone who's going to expose that. So go, what is it in me? Ask yourself this. What is it in you that's obsessed with crystal? What is it in you that's obsessed with creating public records over and over and over and then trying to stop the public from getting those records? To just, just stop. Just cut the cords, let it all go, and just stop. Just stop. And, um, you know, having protective orders against me means that you and all of your friends and all of your coven and all of er, all these people have to watch me. So now I have an audience and I can just sit here and talk about, you know, kitty cat's tails or like mice that chase giraffes. And y'all got to listen to every word I say because you're listening for that one word in hopes that you can jail me that's on the protective order, right? I'm not allowed to talk about the government officials' nonprofit and I'm not allowed to talk. I mean, this is all of the earth. This is not spiritual. Ask yourself. Ask your goddess. Ask your God. Ask your spirit guides to show you what is it that drew you to me? What is it that drew you to saying those women were turfs and Nazis and wanting to attack them? Eh, that was your own pain, your own trauma. You did it. You connected with the city council. You connected and with government officials and you... Um, and you created um, all of these people to shut down our free speech. And then when we find the public record and say you did it, and show where you called us these hateful, inciting words, these violence inciting words, we show it. Then you get protective orders against us to shut us up. That's what you did. So spiritually, what you're to do is say, I own that, I created that, and let it go. Okay? And, 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 and get right with your God, with your goddess. Don't be like, I'm a witch, you know, and I have the pentacle on my tattoos and everything. Like, they told me at that uh, pagan meetup that um, their coven leader had a tattoo on, you know, with the pentacle. Well, the pentacle to me is beautiful. The pentacle is love and light and all of the elements of Mother Earth. And, you know, it's not going to be able to be used for darkness. And so you can say all day, every day that Crystal's the dark and she's lying and she's lying and she's lying. I'm showing the proof. I mean, how many years do you think someone's going to believe that you're that I'm lying and you're telling the truth when they're looking right at the truth? You guys can do it all you want. It doesn't matter to me. This is spiritual to me. What I do is spiritual. What I do is a calling directly from God, from the goddess. And when I post online my spiritual beliefs, my channeling, my spiritual information, and then you take it to a, a man-made government institution court and go, She's instituting rituals against us. I mean, it's like the 1600 witch burnings, right? It's an apparition. She's a witch. She's evil, right? So you're witches and you're persecuting a witch um, because you're accusing me of doing rituals that you're doing. Uh, this just, I didn't plan on talking about this, but I just, I just want to say that if you want to cut the cords, just stop the madness. Stop lying. Stop hurting people. Stop trying to talk to city council and the mayor and all, and all of these people and, and, and telling them what public policy should be and, and calling mean names and calling, you know, Julie Jamon and all these women, all these hateful names in government public records and then bitching and whining because those public records are found by the people you're talking about, okay? Just stop doing it. The, the matter you get the more you're creating that negative energy. Ask yourself, how do I get right with God? How do I get right with my God within? What do I do in my life to bring in more joy, more laughter, more peace? And, and if obsessing over me and watching my every video 
brings you peace, then do that. If watching my video just to see about getting me in jail, I don't care. Okay? That's not hurting me. The only way to deal with someone like me in your life, someone that you don't want in your life, is to stop feeding the energy that is me. Stop using my name, stop thinking about me, stop watching my every video, stop immersing in my energy, stop having your rituals of, oh, let's, let's stop Crystal, let's stop Crystal, you're not going to stop me. I work for God, for the goddess, like for real. And I'm going to take all that energy that you bring me and I'm going to turn it into love and joy and money and peace and I'm going to send it all back to you. Okay? And if some of you are dark, it might cause havoc in your life. But I don't do dark rituals. I don't do negative things. You do that and then you go into, hey, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Judge, yeah. Um, like, she's like doing some sort of a ritual. She's channeling a dragon. Oh my gosh. She's, yeah, mm-hmm. What you're doing, right? You're doing rituals. Yeah, I channel dragon. I channel a gold star trio, which is three lions. Um, I talk to beings from Syria. I talk to Pleiadians. Um, so what? I'm a psychic. So what? I'm of the light. I don't hurt people deliberately. And yeah, like I said, sometimes I get things wrong and I make it right. I'm not wrong about the things that I have the proof on, that I provided the proof, right? Um, if you just tell the truth, right, and stop hurting people. Stop being upset that you can't abuse someone and someone else isn't going to stick up for them. Or stop being upset that you can't, like, tell the city council what to do and that the public can't know about it. Oh, my God. We can't call 911 and go, yes, and not have someone post the call with you, you know, whatever you say to 911. I mean, just... Like, stop creating public records. If you don't want public records to be out there, stop creating them. <clears throat> Spirit, what else do you want tonight? Like, the, the sun is dropping. I'm sitting on the beach. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. The sunset's so beautiful. Let's take a look here. Look at this. And so, Spirit wants you to know this is your life. Take charge of your thoughts. Take charge of what you engage in every day. If I'm on your mind all the time, well, then I guess I am. I send you love. Well, I didn't mean for this um, video to be about that, but that's, I guess, what spirit wanted to be said. It's like, you know, reminding me that whatever I focus on, I create more of. And reminding you that <laughs> if you focus on me, you create more of me. I love you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're watching my every video, my every move, because you have a protective order <coughs> and you want to see if I'm saying your name. Because it'll raise your vibration. I'm of the light. I'm pure light. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. Watching me every day will improve the quality of your life. Because my intentions are high. And my videos have a high vibration and high frequency to them. I love you all. Bye for now. You want to take one last look? Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous.